What is up, guys? My name is Igor, and welcome to my workshop. As some of you may already know, I'm a technology enthusiast, and one of my main hobbies is 3D printing. As such, I print pretty much every day, and uh, the build plates of my printers are rarely empty. So one day I thought, why wouldn't I start a, at least a semi-regular series of videos where I would showcase the, my latest prints, uh, projects I'm working on, and, you know, maybe some other interesting stuff. And so, here is my first Sunday showcase. Let's get started, shall we? <laughs> The first model that I wanted to showcase today is this fantasy castle. So originally it was a uh, huge model in multiple pieces meant for an FDM machine. And I actually want to print it uh, on my OneHow i3 Plus one day uh, in the original scale. But this time I decided to use it as an excuse to get amused by the level of detail a cheap SLA printer is capable of reproducing. Check it out. I've pre-processed the model in mesh mixer to hollow it out. Uh, let me show you how I deal with uh, such models where you have this flat base where which nobody will ever see. Here I have this castle model loaded in uh, mesh mixer. So first let's start with resizing it to something more appropriate for the uh, Elgo Mars printer. Okay, so let's see, let's make it maybe 100 millimeters tall. Mm, okay, all right. Now let's do some editing. Okay. So go to edit and click generate face groups. Will take some time. This is a very detailed model. There we go. So what we care about is that the uh, entire bottom is the same color, which means it's the same um, the same face group. So we can now select it select the entire bottom at once. So accept and yeah, take some time. All right, so now let's so, come, on. come on. Select double click it. Deform, transform. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend it downwards a little bit. Yeah, like this. Good. Now go to edit. Uh, hello. This will take some time. One eternity later. Finally. Okay, so two millimeters, two millimeters. Okay, let it be two millimeters. Except. Now, uh, let's do this. Let's do plain cut. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut away whatever we have extended. Uh, come on. Okay. And we're gonna cut it right around here. That's too much. Right around here. Click accept. And now we 
have our model beautifully hollowed out. Yeah, I cannot stop to be amazed by the level of details. Uh, this uh, very accessible machine, my Elgo Mars, is capable of. I've uh, sprayed it with a coat of primer and I'm actually working up the nerve to paint it. All right, moving on. Halloween is less than a month away. So I've started collecting some spooky things I want to make, and here is one of them. It's a Voronoi skull from Thingiverse. Voronoi tessellation is an interesting mathematical and geometrical concept, and I actually want to make a video on it one day. In 3D design, it is often used to produce this kind of natural-looking cell-like structures. Uh, so this skull is a result of such tessellation. I've printed it on my FDM machine using a glow-in-the-dark PLA. And this effect is actually quite strong even in, in, in the daylight. So uh, I, have, uh, I have a UV flashlight here, so let me charge it a little bit. Yeah, you can see it glowing. So, yeah, see, this effect is uh, quite visible even in a brightly lit room. Uh, here is how it looks in the dark room. Pretty cool, huh? I will definitely print more of these skulls. They will make nice decoration and uh, perhaps Halloween gifts. All right, moving on. Next, I have four benches. Yes, yes, bog standard benches printed in four different materials. PETG, PLA, TPU, hey look, it's a squishy boat, and resin. Oop. Just check out how smooth it is. Why would I need four benches, you may ask? Well, I'm going to give them a proper fiery Viking funeral, although according to historians there was, there was no such thing. I'm actually working on a video on flammability of different 3D printing materials, and these boats will be sacrificed for science. The last print I wanted to showcase today is this. Uh, some of you may have already recognized what this is. Um, especially if I assemble it this way. So for those who don't know what this is, see, there is a classic horror movie, Hellraiser. And this is basically an artifact from that movie called the Lamarchand's Box. And well, this particular one is called the Layman Configuration. It's a puzzle box which, when assembled properly, in this case, like this, is used to, to summon Cenobites. Demons to some, angels to others. Demons to some, <laughs> angels to others. Uh, anyway, I started this project mostly as an exercise in parametric modeling in Fusion 360. This model essentially has only one input, the size of the cube. Uh, so the rest is derived, so when you change that one dimension, everything gets uh, resized accordingly. The box itself fits nicely, looks like I've uh, gotten all the tolerances correctly. So now I'm working on the decorative panel. See, it, uh, it is supposed to have um, intricate ornaments on all sides. And I actually have to learn a little bit of Blender in process, because Fusion 360 really struggles to extrude those uh, ornaments. They are very intricate, very delicate, and um, it really struggles. So Blender seems to be doing a better job. And once I'm satisfied with the result, I'm gonna share this uh, STL, maybe on Thinkiverse and also on my site, eagersworkshop.me. And that is all for today. I hope you liked this video. If so, please click that like button, consider subscribing to my channel, 
Uh, and as always, your comments are very welcome. Your comments and subscriptions is what really keeps me motivated. Thanks for watching, happy tinkering, and don't forget to have fun. Bye!